extraordinarily dangerous person, Samantha Powers, most people in Congress and in the Senate have absolutely no idea who Cass Sunstein even is or that Cass Sunstein, what you're seeing in the IRS, I am absolutely convinced is Cass Sunstein's work. It is the way he operates. He knows he knows what the law is and the regulations, and he floods you with paperwork. He floods. All that was happening with the IRS was a targeting and a nudge. Nudge them. Keep nudging, and then a little, maybe a little bit, put a shoulder into that. Kind of shove them a little bit. But that's all that is. That's Cass Sunstein. His wife is wildly, wildly anti-Israel. And she's now been named, Samantha Powers, she's now been named as the nominee for the um, uh, ambassador uh, at the U.N. She's a dangerous woman. She's the one who was the architect behind um, Libya. Glenn, I, I think you're exactly right. I, I think the nomination of Samantha Power is, is deeply, deeply troubling. Uh, it, it follows a pattern of this administration, particularly in the second term. They seem to be seeking out in the foreign policy arena People who have been radicals, people who have been extreme, who have been far outside the mainstream. You know, she has publicly written, for example, you, know, you, you and I both were, were quite vocal criticizing the pres- president for beginning his first term by going on a worldwide apology tour, by, by going to tyrants and despots and apologizing for the United States. What's amazing is, is Samantha Power has publicly not only embraced her view that America needs to keep apologizing, she, she has gone so far as to splic- explicitly urge, quote, instituting a doctrine of the mea culpa, Insta- which, as you know, is Latin for basically groveling and saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, Glenn, no nation in the history of the world has spilled more blood, has sacrificed more for the freedom of others than the United States of America. And I don't understand what it is with these left-wing academics where they are compelled to constantly grovel, uh, you know, before tyrants like Castro in Cuba and, and North Korea about apparently their embarrassment about the United States. 